today I'm going to be teaching you guys how I use Garmin LiveScope to find schools of fish. Let's get started. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to drill a hole. I usually do two to three holes, but for now I'm just going to do one. And all I'm going to do is switch my transducer to forward view and I'm going to scan the whole area. Smaller lakes, bays, ponds, stuff like that makes it a hundred times easier to fish because all you need to do is make probably two or three holes somewhere around the area and you can scan pretty much the whole entire part of what you're trying to fish. So we're going to drill right here. We're going to drop it down and we're going to see if we can find any schools real quick. All right, so I have the transducer set in forward, which is just pretty much straight, but it's a little bit facing down, as you guys can kind of see here. You don't want it perfectly straight because all it's going to be doing is looking forward. You want to see the bottom, so you want to have it at a little bit of an angle. We're going to drop down here. We're going to see if we can quickly find any schools. Like I said, drilling a bunch of holes on the lake is going to be a lot easier because you can work a lot more. With this one hole, we should be able to find a school real quick. All right, let's put it down in here. Yeah, we definitely got some fish there. We're sitting in 21 feet. Nothing right under us, maybe a few fish, but I have it facing this direction, so let's see here. Oh yeah. Ah, uh, we actually have a lot of schools around us. This might actually just be one big school. If you guys can see all the lines on screen right now, there is a lot of schools right here. This might just be one big school, let's see. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh, look at those fish right there. That is a huge, huge school of fish facing that direction. The top ones are how far they are away. The bottom ones are the depth. Anywhere from a foot away from me all the way to about 45, 50 feet, that school ends. Huge school here. We're gonna go sit on them in a sec. Let's see. Okay, so that direction right there has pretty much nothing. So maybe a few fish. They are all that way. That whole area right in front of me is one big school of fish. This did not take long. I was expecting to drill a few holes before we found a school, but eh, nothing really too far that way. A few fish on the sitting close to the bottom this direction, but that big school of fish, I mean, all these dots are fish, and that big school of fish is right there. Huge school of fish. We're gonna go drop right on top of them, and I'll show you guys how we catch the fish after we found them. Along with this, when I'm finding fish, what I do a lot of the time is I use my live scope to find fish, and then once I find that school, I go sit on top of them with the Vexlar, so I don't have to drag this whole thing out there. It's a lot of work to hole hop with live scope. So I got an FLX30 here, and I just go find the fish with the live scope. Once I find the schools, drill up, make sure they're there, use down view. Sometimes I will use down view uh, when I'm fishing for them, but if I just want to be lightweight, make it quick, grab the Vexlar, and I just fish them like you normally would. This technology is insane. You can find schools like, like nothing. I mean, it's not hard. We're gonna work this whole entire bay today though. And we're just gonna keep fishing. Just find schools, drop on them, catch a few out of each school, move on to the next school, catch a few out of them, and just keep using forward view to find different schools and work the whole entire bay. We're gonna hit this first school here about 50 feet away. Let's go catch them. All right, let's drop down, see if these guys want to bite. Come on, smack it, here he is, here he is, there's one on it. There's a fish right on it right now. There's no way none of these guys eat. Fish on. There we go. Take this out real quick, put it like that, and bring the fish right in. There we go. That did not take long at all. I mean, when you know where the schools of fish are, it's not that hard to set up on top of them and catch one out of the 50, but there she is. Nice little fish here, guys. A lot of people, they find the school of fish and then they just set right up on top of them, which I might actually do that later tonight. I got my tent here. I might just set the tent up on top of a nice school of fish. But for now, we're just gonna keep hole hopping, catch a few fish out of each hole, move to the next hole, do the same thing over and over again, and fish different schools of fish. Because if you keep moving, keep fishing new fish, they're not gonna get spooked. They're gonna be aggressive. So we're just gonna do the same thing we just did right now. We're gonna keep doing over and over and over again, just to show you guys how easy it is to find schools of fish when you got a live scope. Let's put this guy back in the water and let's keep catching. And there you go, buddy. Probably another 50 left to catch here. But I am gonna move on to the next hole. I'm gonna drop it down to forward view, see if there's anything around here. And let's see what we got around us. It'll take a few seconds to switch here. Let's see if there's any more schools we can fish real quick. 
Otherwise, we can probably catch a few more out of this guy, but I'd like to fish a new school here. So yeah, we got this school. I mean, it's pretty big. There's definitely a lot of fish in it. Uh, nothing that direction. I mean, there's this... Oh, yeah. All right. So a few fish that way. That big school is right there. Yeah, that is a, that is a really big school. Uh, a few fish deeper, but I'm gonna go hit that school that way. Let's go catch some more. All right, let's drop her down here. Oh my gosh, we are on so many fish. This guy's gonna smack it. I got one coming up right now. Fish on, fish on, there we go. Look at that guy. Beauty. These guys are massive, but we gotta find that big school because I know they're here. There's these little guys, I am sure. There's a school of bigger ones too. I'm gonna drop right back down. We're gonna catch some more. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drop down a little bit farther here in the water column. I mean, there's so many fish, but once you catch a few, they are gonna get spooked. So what I'm gonna try to do is I'm gonna try to catch a few out of each little uh, school of fish, and we're gonna move on to the next hole. And I'm gonna drop down to these fish, and once I get close to them, I'm gonna jig them around, and once they come in, I'm just gonna let my bait do all the work. Jig them up here, I'm just gonna dead stick. Let my bait swim and attract the fish, and worked perfectly. Jigged them up, once he got close, I let my bait swim freely, gave it that natural action, and they're coming out and smacking it. We were on just a school of smaller crappie. Not ideally what I'm looking for. I'm gonna move around a little bit, and I'm gonna try to find some bigger fish here. Nice little guy, though, nonetheless. I mean, these fish are amazing. They look gorgeous, they taste good, but just not the size we're after today. All right, she's going back in the water, and we are gonna go find a different school. My guess is these fish are schooling by size, so I'm gonna try to find a school of some bigger crappie, and then we're just gonna drop right on top of them. Turn it a forward view. Let's find a school here. Oh, this whole area is just one big school. I might be able to just work it a little bit more. I'm just trying to find some bigger fish. I mean, look at all those. Oh my gosh. Anything bigger though? I'm looking for some, maybe some bigger marks here. Are they all about the same size? They are honestly all about the same size. Where are these? Big school about, ooh, 60 feet to my right here. It's a nice school of fish. Looks like some bigger ones. Yeah, we're gonna go hit that school. All right, not really marking too many right here, but that's not an issue. I'm gonna drop down and see if any come through. I might go that direction more. Drop down here, see if any of these guys are aggressive. It's not a big school, but they seem to look like a little bit bigger fish. So I'm just gonna drop down to them. Oh yeah, oh, these guys are aggressive. He's gonna smack it. I'm gonna let it sit, he's gonna smack it. Fish on. There we go, right away too. That's awesome. They seem to be a little bit bigger. Bigger fish, well, not by much, but a little bigger than that last one. Smaller school, but they're aggressive fish. Oh yeah, nice fish. Still got my crappie minnow too. That's awesome. There you go, buddy. Oh yeah, look at all that. Awesome. Let's see if there's any bigger, bigger fish here. No, it's just at the school. It's all right there. I don't even want to go that way. I'm going to go down here. I'm going to go hit a school. Looks like a little school of fish. 40 feet this way. All right. Got to throw in reverse to get rid of all the slush. Yeah, we got fish here. Let's drop down. I'm gonna try just the plain spoon if that doesn't work. 
I can throw on a crop, you know. Oh yeah, here we go, here we go. Right away. Right away there's a fish coming up. See if he wants the plain spoon. And he does. That did not take very long. Oh man, you are a little guy. All right, you are not the size I'm after. Just a baby, haven't found the school of bigger ones yet, which kind of sucks, but we're gonna keep searching until we find them, or at least get some decent fish. I know the spot's got it. Drop you back down, and there you go. Oh yeah, look at all that right there. That is what I'm looking for. Look at all of those fish. Let's hit, oh, what do we wanna go? I wanna hit that school of fish. 40 feet that direction, let's get on them. Look at that big school right there. I love seeing these big schools. He's on it, he's on it. With my normal Vexlar, all I would see was a bunch of lions. I would not know where they are. But if you got a live scope, you should be able to find, I just got hit right there. You should be able to find schools of crappie super, super easy. Here we go, look at some of these guys coming up here. Fish on. Fish on, we got them. There we go. I mean, look at all those fish we have down there. You could just sit on one of these holes and catch fish all day. What I like to do is I like to work around, find different schools of fish. But if all you want to do is find a single school of fish, drop down, find them. You found the school, sit on top of them, set up your tent, and just catch fish all day. I'm looking for different schools trying to find a school of some bigger fish. But if all you're looking for is to catch fish, that right there is how you do it. Look at this guy. Awesome. All right, and that is gonna be the fish to end on. I know this was a pretty short video, but I have another fishing video coming in two days where I'm actually hardcore fishing this lake for big crappie. And let me just say, we caught a few 12 to 13 inch crappie. This lake's got some really nice fish, but for today, I just wanted to show you guys how I use my live scope to find schools of crappie. If you guys weren't watching the whole video, I drop it down, drill a hole, look, trying to find schools. I'm looking for those big groups of fish and I see how far away they are, I drop right on top of them. Usually I'm looking for weeds too. If I'm not looking for schools of crappie, I use my live scope to look for weeds. Once I find the school, I'll sit right on top of them and start catching fish. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it was quick. I know it wasn't a very long video like my usual ones. We caught some fish, we had fun, and we made a video. Hope you guys did like the video. New videos every Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 11. I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.